Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. Today's card is a Happy New Year card. I'm using the Mixed Drink Set by Stampin' Up. I'm taking the snow embossing folder and I'm turning it upside down so it looks like champagne bubbles. And I have my square stitch dies by Simon Says Stamp. I'm gonna start by stamping my champagne glasses tilted toward each other using some memento ink on Nina cardstock. And then there's a word clink that comes with a set and I'm gonna stamp that right above the glasses. I'm gonna color them with Copic markers. I'm gonna use Y21, it's just kind of a darker yellow at the bottom. And then I'm gonna color the rest Y11 and notice that I'm drawing a line parallel to the top of my card because the glasses are tilted. So the liquid inside needs to be tilted. So uh, I'm gonna go back over that one last time with some Y21 at the bottom just to darken it up a little bit. I wanted to add some bubbles at the bottom. So I'm gonna use my colorless blender. It's just my zero refill and a mini mister. I have a piece of fabric. This is terry cloth. You could use any textured fabric for this technique. And what I'm gonna do is spray this fabric pretty liberally with the colorless blender. So I'm just gonna use maybe like three or four pumps of the liquid. And then I'm just gonna wipe my craft mat first before I put it on. But you wanna wait actually until your color dries. So I waited, I turned the camera off, I let my yellows dry a little bit before I did this. And you're just gonna press it down, and this is in real time, so you can see I'm holding it for maybe like five to seven seconds. And then I'll pick it up, and uh, I'm gonna hold it up. I don't know if you could see, there's a photo on my blog that shows a close-up, but you can see little champagne bubbles inside. The reason why I let my yellows dry first is because if I put the colorless blender on wet ink, it'll spread a little bit more and I wanted really distinct bubbles. All right, now I'm just going in with some C1, a light gray, and I'm just highlighting the glass a little bit. And then my final detail is gonna be a white gel pen and these are gonna be just sort of light reflections on the glass. So I'm gonna start on that curve at the bottom and go up kind of a longer on the right hand side and then a little bit shorter on the left hand side. And that'll give the illusion that this is actual glass. Okay, so now I'm taking my embossing folder and I've cut this piece to four inches wide and I'm gonna put my square in the upper portion of it so that my glasses will be at the top there. And now what I'm gonna do is mark the corners so I know where I'm gonna put my ink blending, my color. I'm using tumbled glass on a sponge dauber and you can see the way I'm applying this is I'm definitely using the outside edge that's not showing to get the majority of my ink off so that I have a very, very light layer of ink on my dauber so that when I bring it closer to the image, I'm just gonna get a very, very light blue color. Now, when I put my window on top of this, you'll really be able to see the difference. You can't really tell right now because the blue is so light, but when you put it against white, you can really tell. And I just wanted something, a tiny bit, just a tiny bit of color, and you can see that's what I get here. So now I'm gonna trim that bottom piece out so it's not so big and hanging off the edge. And I'm gonna take some 1 8 of an inch strips of gold cardstock. Uh, this is American Crafts cardstock. You could just take a full piece and put it on your card base, but I just don't like to waste this paper because it's kind of expensive. So I cut the 1 8 inch strips. I cut them a little bit longer so I'd have a way to handle them since they're so small. And I put some Zig 2A glue pen on the back and adhered them to the sides of my card base. I'm gonna pull my sentiment from the Merry Messages set by Lawn Fawn. I have gotten the most use out of this set. I love it, it's got so many different sentiments in it. I highly recommend it. Now I'm not gonna use the whole sentiment, so I'm just gonna cover the pieces that I don't want with some surgical tape. And I'm gonna be stamping this onto some black cardstock and embossing, so I'm gonna use my embossing buddy to get rid of this static cling. And then I'm gonna ink it up with some Versamark. And here's the most important step is to remove your surgical tape. So many times I've forgotten to do that and then it was just a mess. So I'm gonna stamp this. And so only the parts that got the Versamark ink are gonna show up on my cardstock. This is Stampin' Up! Black cardstock and I'll sprinkle it with white embossing powder and then heat it to set it. I made it longer than I needed so that I could trim it exactly. I want it to be the length of my window, so I'm just gonna put it up against it and I'll make a pencil mark on either side. You could run it through the trimmer and I probably should have, but I just was lazy and got a scissor, so I cut it on each side. And then I just took a tape runner and put it on the back and adhered it just underneath the stitching. So the stitching was in the middle between the sentiment and the window. Now I'm gonna take my window panel, I'm gonna use some Scotch foam tape and cover the whole back. 
and then I'll pull off the release backing and then I'll hold this over my champagne glasses so that they're centered. And once I get them centered, I'm just gonna press down and then I'm gonna flip this over and put some tape runner on the back of the champagne glass piece and adhere this in between my two gold cardstock pieces. And that is the card for today. So pretty quick and simple to make, yet it has a lot of tiny details to it. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.